Well, I think everybody around the country at any level, any program is always excited about the anticipation of bringing your new players into your program, complimenting them with the older players that return. And with 65 to 70 guys at any one time during this month of June and July in Helena, the excitement's always building because you see a Greg Tucker and Andrew Brucker, James Dalgan, and a Mac Roach, a, you know, Dylan Simak day in and day out. So, you know, that excitement, I think, has been building for a long time with our staff in Helena. But now we get a chance to uh, get the new kids coming in in two weeks and uh, put them together and see what we can come up with. Well, the players that are there are the ones that realize what the, how important that is in the summertime, to be there working out with your teammates, watching films, running with each other. I think that's the thing that I enjoy the most, is watching them come closer. And they're all good friends to start with, but the summer they just get to know each other because they're hanging out with different positions, they're hanging out with different players of different age groups. So it's fun to see a, a Jake Conan hanging out with some of the quarterbacks and receivers. It's fun to see Adam DeBrucker hanging out with the offensive lineman and defensive lineman. And, you know, Jeff Geck hanging out with different guys in the position that he plays at defensive line. And that's where you build the team atmosphere. You know, it may sound kind of corny, but the family uh, aspect of, of a football team is very important. And you don't do it just during two a days. It's uh, the winter months, it's uh, winter conditioning, spring football, and it culminates in the summer leading into two a days. I like, I like who our top end guys are. We've got to develop some uh, uh, experience at the linebacker spot. Behind those front four, you, you have a Graham Bogan Mills plays a little bit. You have guys like that who've been there and, and done some good things. I think that's a real plus. Defensive line-wise, yeah, Coach City lost a lot of great guys, but he's done a great job. People forget that. Bo Meyer played an awful lot in 2013. Kyle Smith, who didn't play in 2013, came back and played last year after his burn accident. Uh, Gus Sommerfeld is a year older, and I think he's done a great job. We moved Elliot McGill over from uh, uh, offense to defense, and Jeff Geck's been there for two years as a starter. So uh, we've got some experience there. Uh, a lot of older players there. We just have to have somebody step up and, and be the leader in that group, along with Jeff. Well, we lost a lot of production with Anthony Clark and, 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 and Dustin Rinker. Those two guys had the most yardage at their positions last year. But when you have Dylan Simak coming back and you have Kyle Griffith at the wide receiver spot, uh, you got to feel pretty good about that. We moved Eric Dawson from uh, uh, linebacker to tight end. He's got the best hands on the football team. So uh, we feel real good about that. And somebody will step up at wide receiver uh, to back up those guys. And somebody's going to step up at running back to take over. We won't have a 1,900-yard rusher like we had last year. But we're going to have somebody that's going to carry the football 20, 25 times a game. Uh, along uh, with that offensive line, Coach Holder puts out there, we'll be okay.